the new 1941 Mercury, the car that zoomed into the bestseller class within a few short months of its introduction two years ago, ready for new records in 1941. Brilliant new beauty, style derived from the flowing streamlines of the famous Lincoln Zephyr. A big and luxurious car always, bigger and more luxurious in 1941. A pace setter in the medium price field. A new longer wheelbase, 118 inches enhances the impressive appearance of the 1941 Mercury. And a new longer spring base, increased to 129 inches. More than 200 inches from bumper to bumper. A big, good looking car. Doors on all models are wider. The gasoline filler pipe is concealed beneath a hinged cover. Beneath this big new body, a fundamental change has taken place. The Mercury frame, always rugged and strong, now has greatly increased rigidity. Two inches longer, with the big all-welded X-member box section nearly nine inches deep. The sturdy X-member is braced to the side members at eight different points. New body mountings. The body bolts are insulated with twice as much rubber as formerly and there is no direct metal-to-metal -metal contact anywhere between the frame and the body. The Mercury's reputation for an excellent ride gets a big boost in 1941. Not the least among the many features contributing to this outstanding Mercury quality is the new ride stabilizer. It has been redesigned with swinging shackle connections at the ends of the bar for freer action and will remain silent in all kinds of weather. Springs, too, have been improved to make the action softer the ride more comfortable. Shackles now slope outward for better damping of spring action. The rear spring is longer this year by one and one half inches, and new engineering has increased its effective length, the equivalent of four inches. The new shock absorbers, with a simple adjustment for the kind of a ride preferred, are another of the features that contribute to the easiness of the Mercury ride. Rich, spacious interiors. The deep padded seat cushions are soft and comfortable with thick layers of fully aerated foam rubber between the springs and the upholstery. Beautifully tailored upholstery and trim, with appointments and accessories of quiet good taste. A wonderfully roomy, comfortable, and costly looking interior. More glass area in these new Mercury's too. Looking out of these large windows is almost like riding in an open car. The new windshield is higher this year to give the driver and front seat passengers greater vision. The new instrument panel of modern design, executed in Rosemont beige plastic and grained gray elm. The radio speaker grill is bright chrome with a horizontal centerpiece showing the winged Mercury insignia. A handsome electric clock is mounted in the door of the big glove compartment. The instruments are grouped in a beautiful horizontal pattern. A completely new arrangement of controls and the hood latch release mounted on a bracket just beneath the instrument panel. The steering wheel is beautifully molded from plastic. The rim is Rosemont beige, the spokes of casino blue, and the horn ring is bright chrome. New crank regulators for the ventilating window make it easy to control the circulation of air. Still another Mercury improvement for 1941. The big V8 95 horsepower engine has been geared for even livelier getaway. Changes in transmission gear ratios give faster acceleration in first and second speeds. The Mercury has a bigger clutch this year too, with easier pedal pressure and softer action. Wider wheel rims have been adopted for 1941, and larger 650-16 tires for improved riding qualities and greater stability on rough roads. White sidewall tires on all cars are extra. The Mercury cars for 1941. Here they are, all of them. The town sedan, the sedan, the sedan coupe, the coupe available with two folding seats at a slight extra cost, the club convertible with electrically operated automatic top, the station wagon, a brand new body type for 1941 built in answer to the wide demand for this type of utility vehicle. And there is the Mercury line. Bigger, better performing, easier riding, and more brilliantly styled than ever. The Lincoln cars for 1941. 
three new lines of luxurious motor cars, outstanding achievements of superior craftsmanship and engineering. The Lincoln Zephyr, now available with custom interiors. The new Lincoln Continental, two beautiful body types this year. And the new 138-inch wheelbase Lincoln Custom, the first modern eight-passenger car. The appeal of these great cars is not in the way they resemble other cars, but in the way they differ. Superbly beautiful, luxurious, richly appointed, these 1941 Lincolns stand alone, still the only cars of their kind at any price. Let's look at them one by one and see what's new. The style leader of them all continues to set the pace. Beauty lives in every flowing line. The striking beauty of Lincoln Zephyr front end styling is more outstanding than ever. In addition to new features of front end styling, the rear end has a new combination license plate bracket and light, stop light, and rear deck handle. The advanced design of the door handles is sure to gain instant approval. A very slight outward pressure on the handle releases the door latch, yet every safety feature of the lock has been retained. But here in the palatial living quarters is where your prospects are going to find the most persuasive arguments to buy. Almost literally, a dream of comfort, ease, and luxury. An entirely new instrument panel, brown beach in tone, complements the smart interior trim. Instrument dials are conveniently arranged, smartly designed. Controls are newly grouped. At the extreme left is the new remote control hood lock. The ignition lock is now on the instrument panel, a new convenient location. A new steering wheel, strong and slender, firm to the grip, it is instantly responsive to the slightest touch. The horn ring is new too, and done in bright chrome. A new safety feature for 1941, the electric direction indicator, to indicate right and left turns. For a right turn, push the switch forward. And a special bulb in the right tail light begins to pulsate at the rate of 60 flashes per minute. At the same time, the right front parking light begins to flash. The light goes off automatically after the turn is completed. New convenience. Ever on the alert for ways to increase the pleasure and pride of Lincoln Zephyr ownership, Lincoln engineers offer push button door openers. A light touch of the finger and the door will open. An added feature is the safety catch which securely locks on each door. The dome lights in all closed body types go on and off automatically as the rear door is opened or closed when the headlamps are turned on. The ventilating window is now operated by a crank type regulator. Passengers riding in Lincoln Zephyr closed bodies enjoy greater protection than ever from the weather this year. There are plenty of Lincoln Zephyr owners who will tell you that the Lincoln Zephyr ride simply couldn't be improved, but it has. Fully aerated cushions of foamed rubber have been placed between the individually wrapped springs and the upholstery. Even the springs have been improved. Both front and rear springs are longer and more resilient, with a lower rate of frequency that helps to give this fine car a ride of deep and luxurious comfort. So smooth, so tireless, that all day journeys seem pleasant and short. For those who wish to express something of their own individuality in their car, Lincoln Zephyr presents custom interiors, with four striking color combinations available, maroon, blue, green, or tan. Any one of these can be obtained at extra cost, with carpet, upholsteries, and sidewall trim, all blending into beautiful color harmonies. Still more features of this distinguished new style leader. Wheel rims have been increased 25%, now five inches in width. And for all kinds of open country driving, there are two new overdrives available at extra cost. One is automatic, coming into play at 25 miles per hour. The other, manually operated, can be used at any speed. Greater economy for a car that's already famous for economy.